Hi and welcome to Analytics SEO. We're really delighted to have you on board. Thank you so much for choosing to work with us. We appreciate there are other software packages out there. We assure you that we aim to provide world-class service and support. So if at any stage you're not sure what to do, or you need help, or you've got a query over the data, then please use the feedback button, get in touch, or pick up the phone. We love to speak to people, and we're here during UK office hours, and we'll try and help you get the most out of your our software and your SEO campaigns. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the software, and then hopefully you should be uh, up to speed and be able to get cracking straight away. Uh, we follow a five-stage SEO process. It's reflected in the menus at the top for the site audit, which is a daily technical checkup of your website, competitive position, which is all about competitors and keyword rankings, on-site optimization, it's about the structure and content of your site, off-site, which is all about backlink gap analysis between you and your competitors and going out and trying to build links, SEO results, we integrate data from your analytics package and give you all the reporting that you could wish for. Workload is a list of tasks that you need to do for your site. You can add your own custom tasks too. And the dashboard, which is the page we're on, gives you a quick overview of the site that you're on. You can select your sites from the drop-down menu. You can have more than one campaign per site. This is often done by companies that have different competitors for different aspects of the site, or potentially they have different SEO managers running different parts of the site, or maybe just want to run campaigns quarterly or monthly. Whatever way you want to do it, hopefully we've got the flexibility in the system to support you. You'll also see some quick links here, which can take you to most commonly used functions like custom tasks, adding new sites, site configuration wizard, which is a simple way to make sure your site is 100% set up. But that's very important to make sure that the software that can then automatically run for you. You can also export just by clicking on this export icon, and you can export in a variety of different formats, Excel, PowerPoint, or PDF. You can choose whether to have the scores in there. We've got some predefined reports for you. But you can also create your own custom reports. You can export as much or as little as you want. It really is that simple. You can also rebrand them. Most of these settings are on the uh, My Sites tab where you can configure your preferences for the system, set up sites, campaigns, look at your usage, configure branding, and even the white label option if that's what you want. On the dashboard, as you can see here, uh, we point you to the main areas of the software. Uh, you get a quick overview of the scores of the different stages of the SEO process. Uh, all the way throughout the system, we'll try and color code things to make it as easy as possible. Red isn't good, amber is a bit of a warning, and green is normally okay. And we'll also show you the movement over the lifetime of your campaign. Here on the dashboard, we also pull some really useful key performance indicators uh, using your Google Analytics feed, and also our own proprietary tools and keyword rankings. At the bottom is a priority action grid, which is a simple way of setting the priorities for your SEO campaign. And it's a great way of communicating this both internally and externally if you have clients as to what your current focus is. It's a matrix with high importance, low importance, high urgency, low urgency. And you can simply delete what isn't relevant. You can move stuff around so that you can simply communicate to customers what is the most important thing that you need to do. So that's the dashboard. Let's move on and have a quick look at the site audit tab. You can quickly get there by clicking on site audit at the top from the drop down menu. You can expand all the components and you can see for each component we give you a title, a score if it's relevant and a change. We'll indicate whether it's passed, whether there's a warning, or whether there's a critical issue for you to look at. We'll give you pop-up help, which will tell you exactly what you need to do. Uh, we're also starting to roll out more videos. So you'll see videos there. Uh, if you've got a query about the data, click on Query This Data, and it will generate a support call for us, or further reading will take you to our blog. If you click on Optimize, you'll also get a page of help, which will show you uh, a little bit more about uh, the data we found, or we'll give you some more help on what you need to do for this particular task. So this is configured website analytics software. There's a little page of help text. You can put in your login and password and get your profile. So you can see that people have added notes here. And you can mark it as complete, waiting for attention, needs attention, so that you can indicate uh, to other people within your team what needs to be done. 
You'll also see on some components have graphs, not all, and some have tables. Uh, we always try and compare your results to your competition uh, where this is relevant. And you can see here that we've got the page load time over time. You can select trends. You can change the date. If there's no data and date range, it will tell you so. And you can turn different competitors on and off, and the scale adjusts automatically on the charts. And you can also do that using the filters on the left hand side. Okay, so on the competitive position tab, probably the part of the software you'll use the most is the keyword research feature. Here you can see that I've set some keywords up already by search engine. You can filter by search engine. You can see the current rank, last month, best ever, etc. You can also see a chart of these rankings over time. And again, you can change the time period. I think what's most important here is the optimize button because that takes you into the keyword research tool. And here you can look at all the different sources of keywords that we've uh, automatically found. And you can select the ones you're most interested in. Uh, to monitor we automatically pull in google adwords search volumes competition and check your organic rank so you've got enough information to make a considered decision as to whether to optimize that keyword or not i think the next most important thing to mention is the my sites tab this allows you to set all the different configuration options for your account uh, if you um, have got multiple sites you'll see them here you can add a new site very quickly here, which takes you to the Add Site Wizard. You can add new users, set the language for the users, and also set permissions for them. You can see um, your preferences, so that will allow you to configure what your default tabs are, what time period you want to see on your graphs, what you want to see on your dashboard, what you prefer to see when you export. You can see your order history, a usage breakdown, of your accounts and you can also configure options for reports so that's how you go and set up custom reports just by clicking on new report and branding which allows you to uh, upload logos and uh, default powerpoint template you can also set up a white label just by clicking on the essentials and it will tell you exactly what you need to do very very simple indeed the last uh, feature of the software is a workload so if you don't want to look at all the pretty graphs and tables and just get straight down to work then this contains all the different tasks in the system. And for each one, you can see uh, whether it's started, whether it's complete, not started, waiting for someone else. And you can mark it as complete. You can work it straight away or you can delete it. You can also um, see your custom tasks here and your link building activity by filtering to the offsite tab. Um, and you can put custom tasks in any area of the site. So that's the workload and project management tool. Um, and that's a quick whistle stop tour of the software. I hope you really like it. Uh, we put a lot of effort in to try and help you get the results out of the software. And we're here to help you all the way through. So please do get in touch. Please use the feedback button. We'd love to hear from you, especially around the features that you'd love to see to help it uh, help you even more. So thanks again and uh, speak to you soon.